Welcome everyone, in this video we are going to see how to assemble a Billy bookcase from Ikea. According to Ikea, there is one Billy bookcase sold every five seconds somewhere in the world. That is absolutely amazing. So there are some different designs. Some have doors, full doors, half doors, shorter units, taller units. We are going to look at the basic six shelf Billy bookcase. We'll start by opening up the carton. We'll spread it out so we have a work surface. So let's get to it. Here are our directions. Right there. And we'll spread everything out and find the parts that we need. So you can see that the wide bookcase and the narrow bookcase use exactly the same set of instructions. In looking at the parts package, the parts are minimal, so this should be a pretty easy build. It says we need a slotted screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a pencil, a hammer, and a ruler. Three of the shelves are permanent shelves, and they're identified by the double holes. They also have that hole underneath. So, and we're going to put pegs in the outside holes on both sides of all three of these shelves. I did have to tap those in with a hammer. Now we're going to set those aside and look at these two long side pieces. Now at the top, middle, and bottom, you'll see a configuration of four holes. What we're going to do is take these kind of screw pegs, they're peg on one end and a screw on the other, and with our Phillips screwdriver, we are just going to screw those in to the two smaller inside holes. We're gonna do that on both ends and the middle for a total of six of these on each side. Just screw those down until they're snug against the side of the shelf. The next step, we're gonna take the shelf and we're gonna drop it into the pegs, but be careful because this curved part here is the back. So make sure the unfinished edge of the shelf is facing this curved side. This is going to be the front of your bookcase and you want the finished side of that shelf to face the square side. Just like that, there's my finished side. Now I'm gonna tap that down and then we're gonna lock it in place with those little gadgets that go into the holes there. All right, so we're gonna take this little gadget and we put it in the hole and we turn it, complete turn, until it locks. So once again, if you look carefully, there's a little arrow on that. The arrow goes toward that bolt, and you give it a half a turn, and it'll lock that right in place. Now we're gonna put the little kind of kick molding piece and do the same thing with it, only that'll just be held in place with two dowels. So there are two holes there, two holes on that molding, and we're going to drop that in place and push it right down. So well, that's what it looks like from the front. It looks finished. Now we'll do that two more times, once for the middle and once for the top. And then we'll have this side completed with the permanent shelves. And on to the last one. So now that we've got all three of these shelves on, we're going to take the other side and lift it up, set it on top, and tighten it the same way. So I just want to make sure all these pegs are aligned all the way down before I start to kind of tap that into place. So we'll check that out and then I'm just going to push that down. Then we tighten all of these 
in the same fashion. Put a slotted screwdriver in and tighten it down and do that to all three shelves. Next up, we're going to put a back on and we're going to take these nails and we're going to nail the back right across each of these shelves. Since we won't be able to see the middle shelf, we're going to put a pencil mark here. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Then when we get the back on, we're going to scribe a line across. That way when we nail the back on with these nails, we won't hit a nail here or here, but we'll be going right into that shelf and then we won't have any holes on the back of the bookcase. Now we're going to open up this back and we're going to slide it right into that groove the entire length of the bookcase. Of course you're going to want the white side down so it looks finished when you have the finished bookcase. Now we want to make sure that the top and the bottom of that back is even with the top and bottom shelf. Then we're going to nail six nails along the back of each shelf. One in each panel. Here's the crease, so we're going to put two nails in this one. Here's the crease, so we're going to put a nail here and here. And then a nail here and here. I like to start with the ones in the middle and work my way out. That way we are sure that that's going to lie flat. If you start here and it would slide over, you might end up having a bulge on one end. Now we're going to go to the middle and then the top. And remember our pencil mark. This is where that comes into play. I drew a line all the way across from pencil mark to pencil mark. That way I know that my nails are going into the back of a shelf. And there we go. The nails are nice and straight. Two nails per panel. Now you might be wondering why is this part cut out? It's so when it's pushed up against the wall, it'll accommodate that shoe molding there. Unfortunately, mine is taller than the cutout on the bookcase, so my bookcase is just going to have to set about a half an inch away from the wall. The next thing we're going to do is put these brackets on. These are self-threading screws, and this bracket will keep the bookcase from falling from the wall. This is a tall bookcase. It's almost six and a half feet tall. And if it were to come down, it's going to come down hard, especially if it's filled with books. So I'm going to attach it to my wall. I recommend you do as well. No one will ever see those anchors because unless you're six foot eight, you'll never be able to see over the top of that bookcase. I'm going to leave a lot of latitude so this can slide back against the wall. And when I determine where I want to put it, I'm going to drill a hole, put a wall anchor, and attach that firmly to the wall. Now it's time to put the shelves on. So since this is six shelves, we're going to put a couple in between here, a couple in between there, and that'll give us our six shelves. So I'll show you exactly how to do that. So this is the pin that holds the shelf. This long piece here that's what goes into the hole and that little torpedo piece that faces up. So we put it in just like that and then the shelf will rest on that torpedo piece. Those holes on the end of the shelf fit right into those little pins. Just like that. And there's our first shelf installed. And we're going to do that four more times and we are done. With one sold every five seconds, I guess I count for 10 seconds because now I have one more of these to put together. Pretty easy build. Take your time. Just make sure you don't put things in backwards or in the wrong place. Uh, it's easy to make a mistake with a simple project because you kind of jump ahead and think, oh, I know how to do this. So take your time and do it right.
I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner and don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark. This is the Average Me Channel.